Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Hope you're all staying safe and well. This is part three of the FMS Kingfisher build, assemble, whatever you want to call it, assembly. I've still got a little bit to do to these wings. In the last video I did the black striping that I like to fly with, but I didn't do these wing tips here because I think they're ideally suited for easy lights. So as an example, that could quite easily just velcro on the wing tip. Tend to have it slightly forward. These have three different light patterns and they do show up really well. And because I like these on all of my aircraft, I don't permanently attach them. Gives it something better to bite onto, and the Velcro goes on top of that. These are five, so I think I go five and a half. I'm going to get on and do the other wing. Well, there we go, the easy lights are easy to install. I've got one more to add, which is the white light, which I like putting at the bottom of the fuselage, down the back here, near the tail wheel. Right, so here's the finished part. You can still see that it had a little scar. It shows up far more on camera actually than it does just in, well, what should we say, real life off camera. So I'm quite happy with that. So I'm just going to put some velcro here and here so I can have a camera pointing forward and back. And then we're going to attach one of my lights here. Now this is for the rudder. I'm not likely to use a rudder, and in fact the tail wheel goes up through here as well. So I'll keep it just short this side of it. I'll do one part here first. I don't want these to be approximately the same length. And I need them up this area. There. There this tape is really just to give the Velcro something really solid to bond onto. The danger is if you just use a strip of Velcro or several strips of Velcro like that directly onto the foam, they can peel off. Whereas if you stick it onto a surface like tape, 
it tends not to peel off and also you've got the added bonus of the whole area the tape is stuck down on to help keep it flat, keep it on. Okay, so because of what I did in the other videos, I know this camera's got to go there. Well, that's one. Should be able to get three in there. It's not perfect, but it will do. Uh, where these slightly overlap, I'll trim them with a new blade from one of my scalpels. But basically what I can do now, should I wish, I can connect that one there. This one's brand new, it hasn't got the velcro on it yet. But that one could go there at the same time. And then I've got one in the cam one, which always goes on the underside. Just need to trim those off. Oh, I've got it on the stand. So I've put tape over here, much bigger area than I need to apply the Velcro, but that gives it a good surface area of bonding. And with that in place, these basically just Velcro on. So I've got easy lights on my wings and I've got easy lights on my tail and it was really easy to do. So this can just come off. I've just got a little bit of trimming to do on these and then we're ready to start putting it together. We're ready to start assembling the FMS Kingfisher. 1.4 meter wingspan. I'm going to go buy the book, buy the manual, and the manual says I have to do the landing gear set installation. As I mentioned earlier, this comes with three types of landing gear. It has floats, a right and left float, and they've got an R and an L on them. These floats are identical to the floats used on the FMS Super Easy 4 and I have a set of those hanging up on the ceiling in my garage and I think I'm going to have a second set hanging up on the ceiling in my garage no I won't, I've got one set ready to be installed on the Super Easy 4 it's exactly the same set these are these are going into storage I might even flog them off on eBay so keep an eye out for a set of Kingfisher Stroke super easy for floats. So we won't be using these, let's get them out of the table. Now we're down to two. 
types of landing gear both of which I intend to use when the time is right obviously we've got our great big oversized Tundra tyres these are 5 inch tyres they're not foam foam but they are a dense material I wouldn't say they're rubber they do have a bit of give in them but they're basically pretty solid but we'll be using those that's what we're going to be using these won't go away in storage these will be kept with all my spares and my kit items here in the house because these will be used as soon as we get some snow so for now we don't need these so let's leave those with our great big wheels so let's get those on they can only go on one way because there are three holes three holes and they go on like that very loose but I'm just not going to stay on like that for now so that's where this piece comes in this clamps them down so let's do that hold it upright so it doesn't but there's quite Good there. Let's get this over. The holes lined up. This is a two millimeter hex screw. The hex head is two millimeter. There we are, that's started. We want three of those. I'm not sure how strong these connections are going to be you know I'll have to practice my landings there we are that's good This one not so good. Right, there we are. So that's the first step as per instructions. Well the next step, believe it or not, is you whack your wings on. So we're gonna put one wing on this side. So here's the wing. I've pulled these out from being tucked down where the spar hole is. We've got our spar. The first thing I want to do is see how far down into the wing it goes. Okay, there is a stop there. So it looks pretty good. So there's a spar hole in here. And I've just got to get it out the other side. There's the spar. There's a hole here for me to thread these in. Obviously one's flaps and the other's aileron. So before I put the wing in, just take a look at how it's connected. It's got this release button here. And there is a dog tooth in there. Which moves up and down as I push the button. That latches onto this plastic piece here. Easy to put on, really hard to take off. So once this is on, it's staying on. The idea is that it's easy to take off, but they're actually not. So let's see if we can get this done. Yeah, 
just gradually goes in and I expect we will hear as I push it in there should be a click oh, quite a big click <laughs> right now I can push this rod down that's as far as it will go and that wing is now connected spooky isn't it not a single screw to be used just to take a look on the underside of that this is where the wings connected in theory I'm supposed to be able to push that in and pull the wing off I'm not even going to attempt it so we come over to this side and we repeat the process let's wing in so this one I haven't done anything with at all so this has got these tucked away one flap one aileron same process here's the button and then there is the dog tooth and these plastic keys fit into the keyholes moulded into the whole plastic top part of the wing There we go. Bit of a mark on there. Hadn't noticed that before. There's no mistaking when they bite. You get this big click. Right. So the wings is to put on the wing struts. 